Hi everyone, it's Sheila and welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to do a review on the hair that I have installed in my head. So recently I went on a quest. I was literally stalking YouTube because I wanted faux locks. Now the first set of faux locks I had installed, I had them done the traditional way and they were extremely heavy, but I absolutely love them. So I thought, okay, there has to be a better way. And then somehow I stumbled upon new locks by Bobby Boss and that became my passion. I was stalking every single YouTuber that did any type of review, had the hair installed, how they installed it, the whole nine yards. So what I ended up doing was going online looking for the hair and I did find the hair at Sam's Beauty. There were so many different places that you can order the hair from which these reviews are out there all over the place so there's no point in me going into all the different places but I did end up buying mine on Sam's Beauty and I also found after that that they do have some of the same hair at a hair salon here in my city in Texas. So um, I ended up ordering I, several packs and this bag over here is actually all the hair that I recently ordered from Sam's Beauty as well as there are some that I ended up picking up at my local beauty supply and I'll explain that in just a moment. So I have various different Bobby Boss's um, hair so we'll get into that as I try some different ones but I got obsessed with Bobby Boss from all the reviews that I saw. So like I said I was looking for something that was going to be lightweight uh, that didn't require so much to have installed and just you know just suited my needs better. So I decided that I was going to order this hair and from all the reviews I had seen and I saw lots of reviews with pros and cons and all that good stuff. I still weighed all of that and felt like it was going to be the suitable hair for myself. And then it was me to trying to decide if I wanted to try crocheted hair or if I wanted to continue on with my individual locks. Now hindsight being that it is, I should have just stuck with my gut instinct and know that I personally need to have individual locks. However, I did decide that I was going to try the crochet. Now something that I did not realize and I don't know if I've seen a video on this myself yet, but I will say that if you're going to have them installed, make sure you have a clear understanding of how they do their braiding system, um, you know, what, how they crochet the locks in. Now myself personally, I am not that experienced with it. So I went on YouTube, like I said, I'm looking at all these videos and I thought, okay, great. I like the great, I like what they ha have in their head. It looks good. So I'm going with it. When I got to the beauty salon, I didn't specify. I really didn't even think about it. I didn't think that I needed to actually. I just thought, okay, I'm gonna sit in a chair. She knows I want crochet locks, uh, well, crochet braids, and I want the perimeter of my hair all left out so that I can do the individual locks. Well, um, her braiding pattern was quite different from the braiding patterns that I see on YouTube, which inadvertently ended up making me not like my locks nearly as much as I thought I was going to like them. I found out, which I didn't need, I mean, like I said, again, this was something that I didn't think about. So I'm just saying this, if you are going to a salon or someone to have them done, make sure you do clarify the braiding pattern in which they prefer to use versus what you really want or how you want your hair to lay. By me not specifying that my hair was not laying in the position that I really wanted it to, I wanted to be able to flip my hair to either side, which right now I can do, which of course I don't have the crochet braids in. We'll get into that in a minute. So the braiding pattern that I had was kind of like in the beehive where it just kind of went around and around and around. Well, it was beautiful in the sense that you could really get those braids uh, or the hair crocheted very close together. It looks good. However, the braiding pattern that I had, all of my hair went completely back. So I, when I tried to pull my hair to the side, I had like this weirdness going on in here and I didn't like it at all. So I thought and thought about it and I decided, you know what, I'm going to have to change this. It's just not working for me. So me not being careful and me not doing my extra homework or specifying, I should say, cost me an extra $80, but that's okay. It was my own fault. So I ended up going back and my stylist did what I, you know, I was a little bit more specific in saying what I wanted. So I ended up repurchasing uh, some hair. So now I ended up with actually 18 inch hair versus the, the 14 inch hair because I did buy this at the local beauty supply store. I had one bag of it left and I was afraid that it wasn't going to be enough. So I decided that I really wanted to go and get some more hair just in case when she took the hair out, there wasn't going to be enough 
you know, like there was mistakes or, you know, something gets messed up and I would have to need more. So I wanted to make sure that I went back and had and got enough hair. So I ended up picking up the 18 inch and this was purchased at my local beauty supply. Now at my local beauty supply, it was $8 and 99 cents. And if I remember correctly, I think I got it online for like $6.99 a pack. So it was much cheaper online and I ended up buying enough items that I didn't have to have uh, I didn't have to pay for shipping and handling. So that was good for me. But when I purchased this at the store, like I said, this was a little bit more expensive. And I ended up purchasing two packs of this one. And I also picked up one pack of the 1B-30, which is this color right here. I actually do have three strands in the back area. I don't even know if you can see them. But I have about three strands somewhere in the back of this 1B slash 30, which I kind of wanted a little bit of a difference in my hair just for something different. I've never done anything like that ever before, but I did think, ah, you know, I want to see what it's like. So I actually have, actually in my hair right now, I have one and a half packs total, and that's one full pack of this, and then about three packs of, or uh, three strands out of this pack right here and the ones that were originally done individually I still left those there so I didn't have to have that redone so that's why it didn't cost me as much as it would have cost me had I had it all redone um, now um, again like I said I I did cut my hair so you can't look at my hair and go by the inches at all because I literally just went in and just kind of whacked it to my satisfaction and um, when I went back to have the second set installed, it was much, much longer than what I wanted, obviously. So I ended up cutting that completely up as well. So I have no idea what my inches are right now. But another thing that I wanted to share with you all is um, having it done individually. Now, I, she did not do the wrapping method. She did entertain doing the wrapping method. And we decided that we're going to do that the next go round. Um, this was really just kind of like a retouch and so she did just do the regular crochet and pull the hair in. Now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the pros and the cons. And this is my truth. Like I said, I stalked so many different YouTube videos and I heard a lot of mention about how the hair tangles and you get these little like um like these little things like that all throughout the hair now i feel that when i was hearing that i didn't hear it quite the way i thought it was going to be most people said oh you know you, you will get this tangling but you know it, you know you can do this and do that and it'll go away well, my hair literally tangled the second day of having it installed, which I thought was a bit quick, but I was like, okay, I still love the way the hair looked. And um, by the third or fourth day, it really was, I mean, it really t tangled. So what I usually do every morning or the night before, I kind of try to do it the night before because it makes it a little bit easier the next morning because I do have to get up and go to work is I will separate it and I will cut as much of it out as I can the night before and then in the morning when I pull my hair down um, I'm able to do less work to it in the mornings um, but I will say this hair does tangle very very bad um, I don't really want to say that it's well I guess it is frizzy to a certain extent um, but for me the frizziness is what makes it look natural because to me when you take it out of the pack so when you take it out of the pack, this is what it looks like. And because of its curliness, it does a waviness, I guess. Not necessarily curliness. But as you can see, um, it does look, there's like pieces around it. To me, that little bit of frizziness makes it look very natural. So the frizziness doesn't really bother me. But you can see these little things hanging out of it right now. These are the things that get caught in, caught with each other. They tangle up between each other and they can cause havoc on your head. This, like I said, happened literally the second day that I had the locks in. Most people spoke about it happening like after a week, after, you know, a couple weeks or whatever. Mine literally happened the next day. So I don't know, maybe it's the hair, you know, because you can get different batches of hair that was uh, made at different times and hair can be, you know, working your head very differently. So the, the hair that I have installed in my head literally the next day started to stick together and tangle and twine up together. But again... It looks so natural that even though it's 
you it's kind of like if you don't touch your hair you won't know it's happening and that's what I've tried to tell myself is don't touch it don't pull it apart because it, when you pull it apart you're going to see that it is it's tangled or if you stick your fingers in it but of course uh, in moving you know the hair gets stuck you reach up and you throw you know pull the hair out of your face or whatever that's when I feel it and I'm like oh it's tangled but I do try my best to keep my hands out of it so that way I don't know that it's tangled that's that's like my own little thing that I have to deal with now the question is would I buy this hair again yes I would um, honestly this to me has been such a I don't want to say low maintenance because low maintenance for me is a cross between a pro and a con because it is low maintenance in that, you know, I pull my hair up in a bun, go to sleep at night, put my hair in a, um, a silk scarf or a six silk bonnet, go to sleep, get up the next morning, shake, pull it down, rough it out, you know, pull it apart, throw some oil on it. I'm good to go. If I, if I'm totally running late, I shake and I can go and it is manageable. Um, on the flip side of that, it is a little bit more maintenance than I probably would want or anybody would want. Like, you know, the whole having to pull it apart and all of that, if you want it not to look, I just, I, for me personally, I don't want anyone to walk up to me and touch my hair. And then all of it is just kind of clucked, you know, <laughs> stuck together. So I, I do make sure I take the time and pull it apart on a daily routine. Now, I did notice that a lot of inter a lot of YouTubers did mention all these different methods that they have tried. I've heard hairspray. I've heard taking shea butter and, and rolling, like palm rolling your hair. I've tried every single method and none of the methods actually worked for me. So I don't know what they're doing that I'm not doing, but none of the methods work for me. It still does the exact same thing. It's still very tangled. Um, I mean, like literally it doesn't even make it look any smoother. I know youtuber was say, mentioned that you know when you palm roll it with the shea butter you know it's gonna look almost like a brand new lock again never saw that happen for me i i did it and all i saw was like it just it looked shinier <laughs> but i still had the i mean it still had the flyaways and all that good stuff so i don't know maybe i'm just doing something wrong on that note but like i said i would definitely buy this hair again um, i do have the individual locks in my head and again i have about a pack and a half total in my head um, when i went back to have it done we took out the whole center and we just uh, did the individual locks and i don't know if you can see my braid sizes but um, they're not very big and they're not very small they're kind of like a an in-between size i guess um, and i think if i do this again which i think i'm going to do a different lock the next time but when I go back to the new locks I'm going to I think maybe put a few more braids in my hair I'm not real certain yet sometimes I look at this and I think I you know I like it the way it is because mind you I am a 52 year old and so I'm not really into having like a whole lot of hair on my head I really want my hair to look very natural like as if it the locks did grow out of my scalp so having too much hair to me does not work um so yeah, so yes, I do love them. I would definitely buy them again. I will say there is definitely maintenance required, but it is, it's not intense maintenance. There will be maintenance involved. I feel that they are very soft, um, almost too soft, I guess. Um, if I could add that to the cons list, I think they're almost a little bit too soft in the sense that they will, they just kind of bunch up real easily, more easily than I think hair does or your natural hair. So sometimes I kind of think, eh, that bothers me a little bit. Or like when I pull it up into a ponytail, I feel like this looks a little bit like not so much like my natural hair. It's not stiff enough. So to me, I don't know, that could be a con, but I, I don't really want to call it a con. I'll just call it something that that I question. <laughs> I don't know. But um, this is what it looks like from the side view. I haven't worn it in many different styles. I do tend to throw it to the side like this a lot because I don't know, it just feels comfortable that way. But um, I do wear it up a lot, all the way up high on a bun. Um, sometimes I'll just wear it all, I'll throw it all back like this at work when it's in my face or sometimes I'll grab it and pull it halfway up. I do take it and spin it around and have a little tie on it like so. I do various things in it. Like I said, when you have the individual locks, you have much more flexibility. And for me personally, I don't think I will ever do the crochets again because I just don't feel like it worked for me. However, I know it could work for other people. And obviously it's so beautiful. And maybe if I had a different braiding pattern, it would work better for me. I'm not 100% sure, but 
um, conclusion is I do like these locks and I would definitely wear the, I would definitely repurchase this hair again and I do recommend it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye bye.